Hello everyone, my name is Ian and you're watching Big Rock Moto. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're new here and you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. In today's ride tested review, we're taking a look at the Alpenstar's Halo jacket. Now, as always with these reviews and videos that I do, if you are gonna purchase this gear or any of the gear that I show on the channel, or any riding gear for yourself, please consider using my affiliate links below. It's a great way to help support the channel. I do get a small commission if you use my links uh, to those stores, so just keep that in mind as we go through this review. All right, so what is the Alpenstar's Halo Jacket in a nutshell? So the Alpenstar's Halo Jacket is an extremely versatile and innovative jacket designed for both on and off-road riding with large vent panels at the front and back, removable sleeves, and a waterproof liner that can be worn over or under the jacket. It's airbag compatible and comes with CE1 armor in the elbow and the shoulders, and you can add the chest and the back armor. The Halo jacket comes in at $499 US. All right, so I've been riding with this jacket on and off for the past year or so, keeping in mind that I have tons of other gear that I'm also testing. I think it's finally time to talk a little bit more about this garment. I've got a lot of questions about it. So how this thing works, the sleeves, one of the things that makes this thing super unique is that for ventilation, especially in hot weather, or and especially riding off-road, I think, you can pull the sleeves off. The outer sleeves come off, exposing a mesh uh, liner with the armor still intact sewn into that. So when it's warm, you can pull the sleeves off and you get amazing ventilation. You also have this uh, fold down front and rear ventilation uh, panels that provide really, really good airflow. Now, in terms of storage, it's pretty unique with its storage design. So you get this kind of rabbit pouch front pocket. You also have entries here from the side. You've got side, big side pockets. The storage on this jacket is really, really good. Now, the jacket is obviously not waterproof in this configuration, but Alpenstars includes a dry star rain liner that you can wear inside the jacket but the preferred way to do this, in my opinion, and they did, did design it this way, thankfully, you can wear it over the jacket. So your jacket doesn't have to get wet when you're riding in the rain. Now I fully agree with this approach to riding gear because why do you want the, the, the sweatiness, the bulk, uh, just the overheating that can come with riding in a, uh, like a, 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 a you know, garment that is fully waterproof, um, even the ones that have the vents in them, uh, it's still hot because at slower speeds, those little zipper vents just don't move enough air. So I like this solution as sort of a four season uh, option for adventure and dual sport riding because it has better temperature adaptability. And let's be honest, how often are you riding in the rain? If you're riding in the rain all the time, well then maybe you do wanna go with a fully waterproof uh, jacket and pants. But if you live in a more of an arid climate like I do, just taking a rain liner for those occasional rains is really the way to go. All right, pros and cons to the Alpenstar's Halo. So the pros, and I've kind of already said this, it works in wildly differing temperatures, speeds, and riding conditions. This is especially useful if you're an adventure or a dual sport rider where you might be riding at low speeds when you get off road and higher speeds on the pavement where you want that abrasion resistance. But then when you do get off road, you can peel off some of these layers, take these leads off, open up your vent panels. You still have your armor, so you're ready to go for your trail riding. So that's a pretty awesome setup. The other pro, as I already mentioned, you can wear the rain liner over or under the jacket, which is great. The storage is really, really good. And then in terms of abrasion protection, if you have the sleeves on, like you see here, you've got CEAA abrasion rating. If you take the sleeves off, you're gonna drop that the jacket down to CEA rating. What are the downsides to the Halo jacket? So there's a few nitpicks that I have. One of the big things is because this is such an innovative design, you get the benefits we talked about, you have this offset zipper. So it's very awkward because all of your other riding jackets pretty much have the center zipper. That's how you're used to putting on your clothes. This has a zipper that's here on the side that allows for these big front panels and big front pockets. So it can be a little bit awkward uh, to learn to get that on and off. You do get used to it. Um, even after you get used to it, it still can be a little bit awkward. Not a deal breaker whatsoever. Another con is that this is still uh, not quite as cool if you're riding at lower speeds and hot weather as you would be if you were wearing maybe a separate armor and just like a jersey, right? Which is the way that a lot of people are going with a layering approach. And we'll talk about that in other videos. But for an all-in-one solution, this thing is pretty good. It's still not as cool as that. A few more downsides. Uh, the jacket's pretty heavy, and I'm not really sure why it is so heavy, um, but it is a little bit. Now, when you're wearing it, you don't really notice that. When you pick it up, and if you try it on in a store, 
you're going to be like, oh, this thing's pretty heavy, but that doesn't really seem to be a problem. Uh, another downside, and I'm going to start calling out all the manufacturers who do this, they don't include the back protector at, at, for the, at the price point the jacket comes in at. I think for $500 for any of these manufacturers, whether it's any of them out there, I really like to see the back protectors included so you don't have to spend that extra 50 bucks. One more final downside is that this collar, sometimes it can be a little bit annoying and kind of cut into my neck. So sometimes what I do is I kind of fold this down and don't have it really done up properly because it kind of cuts into my neck just a little bit. What about the fit of the halo jacket? So I am uh, five foot 10, five foot 11, right in there, about 1.78 uh, meters. Uh, I wear like a 44 in like a suit jacket. I wear a size large t-shirt. Um, so I am on the size chart kind of in an XL with Alpenstars and this is an XL that you're seeing. However, I'm kind of between that L and XL on Alpenstar stuff. In a climb jacket, I'm, I'm a large, sometimes even a medium. Uh, in the Revit stuff, I'm, be I'm also between L and XL. So, you know, consult the side chart. It seems to be pretty accurate uh, and just keep that in mind when you're buying something like this. And of course, if you can, it's awesome to try it on in a store. Although a company like Revzilla does have free returns and things like that if you need to exchange sizes. What are the competitors to this jacket that you should look at? Uh, for me, the, the most direct competitors, so there's nothing really quite like this. Uh, you know, you can look at the Revit Sand 4, you could look at the Revit Off-Track and the Off-Track 2. Uh, you could look at something like uh, the Climb Baja, which I also have and is one of my, definitely my favorite suits, which is a full mesh suit. And then you can do, use the same idea with liners going over it in terms of you know uh, weather protection and things like that. One more thing before I forget, why am I not reviewing the pants? The pants didn't really work out that well for me. There's nothing really wrong with them. I just don't really, well, first of all, I had issues with the sizing. Uh, they were a little bit too small uh, for me, so I wasn't really able to test them. I did put them on and ride with them a little bit um, without the waist fully fully done up because they were too tight. Uh, but I don't really love uh, the, the pants that we're seeing like this where they're neither waterproof nor really fully breathable. So I'd rather choose a riding pant that is either fully mesh that gives good airflow because my legs don't tend to get as cold as my upper body. And then if it is raining or cold, I can put a rain layer over that. Or if it's cold and wet, I'm just gonna wear a waterproof pant. So I don't really like anything in between those two. That's just my personal preference on riding pants. But there's nothing wrong with the Halo pants. They, they look good and they work well. All right, summing up the Halo jacket. This is absolutely one of the most versatile innovative and useful jackets that I have in my collection. And uh, I'm really, really glad to have it. I hope this review was useful. If it was, please cons consider supporting Big Rock Moto. There's ways to do that down below and you can use my links when you're shopping for gear and that's a great way to help. Thanks so much for watching. If there's any questions, put that down below. Ride safe and I'll see you out there.